Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see Chef and Subtree Max question that came in Code Chef October lunch time. Let's see the question. Here it is given that the max of set of integer is defined as the smallest non-negative integer that does not belong to the set. So it is the basically the definition of max. What is max? Uh, suppose if it is one, two, three, four, five. Now which number is missing here? Which is not negative? and it is positive so zero is missing here so it, this will be max of this set okay this is what the question now if it is zero one uh, three four five eight nine eleven this is the set now which number is missing here there are many numbers which are missing Ten, ten is missing six is missing seven is missing two is also missing now out of these number which is minimum minimum is two so max of this set is your two this is was the definition of max given in the question here. Okay, now what the further is question saying? Chef has tree with n nodes. The tree is rooted at one. Chef wants to assign a non-negative integer to each node in such a way that each integer between zero and n and minus one is assigned to exactly one. Okay, suppose if a, there is tree and tree has five nodes, uh, sorry, three nodes suppose. So it will be first node, second node third node okay suppose this is the tree structure okay now what value we can what weight we can assign to each integer that is your 0 to n minus 1 this what is the weight that we can assign if we can get 0 to 1 uh, this 2 1 to this 2 to this okay at max there is 3 uh, so 0 to n minus 1, uh, 3 nodes are there, 0 to 3 minus 1, 0 to 2. So we can assign 0 to 2 to any value. We can assign 0 to this or 1 to this or 2 to this. And each node will have exactly one uh, value. Suppose if 1 is containing 0, then 0 cannot occur anywhere else. It will uh, occur only once time. So this is what the this paragraph is saying. Now let's read further. For each node, you consider for each node you consider the integers assigned to the nodes in the subtree of u, including u. Let a u denote the max of these integer. Chef wants a one to a n to be large as possible. Find max of max value of this. So, what is now this paragraph is saying? Suppose this is the tree. If this is the tree. So now, how many subtrees are present? One. Tree is this, one subtree is this, one subtree is this, one subtree is this. So this is what they are saying that for each node we have to select the subtree. For each node we have to and we have to find the max. Now here, if I have given value to zero to this, one to this, two to this, what is max of this? Which number minimum possible number is missing, uh, which is uh, not present? So max is three. So for this tree, for bigger tree. The max is 3 plus we have to do some from a1 to like a nth. Now for, for 1, if I am keeping 1 here, which is the minimum that is missing? 0. If I am taking 2 here, weight as 2. If this is not the number of nodes, this is weight I have put. In. Okay. If it have, I have put it the weight 2 here. So what is minimum possible number I am missing? Missing is 0. So what is total number of summation we can get? We can get 3. Now, like this, we can put 1 here, 0 here, 2 here or two here, one here, zero here, like this we have to check the maximum possible value of this sum. Okay, maximum possible value we can get from this max. So this is what the question is saying. Now let's see the approach to solve this question. Okay, now understand this question and try to build logic with the help of this example. Okay, let's take this example first. It is given the number of nodes and it is given the parent of i1 i plus 1th node here you can see if you will see in the question it is saying that that pi is the parent of node i plus 1 this means that this ith is so index is uh, I, this one is parent of 2 okay it is parent of 2 and this one is parent of 3 this is what it is saying so what will be tree looking like it is 1 it is 2 it is 3 First node, second node, third node. Now, what, how many values we can put? We can put from 0 to n minus 1. Okay. We can put 0 to n minus 1. Now, here, if I start putting 0 from here, 1 from here, as I told in example, 2 from here, 
and we have to find the max of all subtrees here. So for max, first max of this subtree, this whole tree will be three because three is only missing number. Max of this will be zero. Max of this will be zero. So it will be zero. It will be three. Now what else uh, combination which we can make? Let's try this. One, two, three. Let's make this zero, this one, and this two. Now max of this complete three is three. Max of this is one. And max of this is two, uh, zero, sorry. And we get four. Now let's try make this two. Make this uh, one, make this zero. We get one here, we get zero here, and we get this in complete here, we get three. So three plus one, again it's giving plus zero, again it will give four. So you can see that either we are getting this three uh, as our max or we will get zero because whether we check for one or we check for two, the max will always give be uh, zero only. Okay, as we know that it gives the smallest missing number and for these it will be three. So at max and we have to print the maximum value. So four will be our answer in this case. Now let's check for this one. Let's check for this one. We have five. One is parent of second value. You can take as two, three, four, five because i is parent of i plus one. So one is parent of two. One is also parent of three. Now two is parent of four. And two is also parent of five. Now what weight we can assign? Zero, one, two, three, four. Now if we calculate max for this arrangement, so one subtree this will complete tree the max will give us five and one this tree will the max here we can get is zero because one three four is there only the, the minimum positive missing element is zero and here zero here zero here zero is there anything else that we can get okay uh, is there any other uh, value that we can get i think no so five will be your answer for this case now Let's check for another arrangement. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I put zero here, one here, two here, three here, four here, this complete subtree will give me five as max. And this tree, what will be the max of this tree? Zero, one, two is given. Only what we are missing? We are missing three. Now, what will be the max of this node? This tree, the, the fourth, the, this third node, zero. Fifth one, zero. This, one. And anything else that we can get? Anything else that we can get? I don't think so. So five, three, eight plus one, nine. So this you can see that we have got nine here. That is max than five. Okay. Now let's change, uh, change arrangement again. One, two, three. Sorry, four, five, it is zero, one, let's keep five, uh, four here, one here, zero here, two here, three here, let's keep random. Now, five will be one of the max, what we will get here, one, what we are getting, uh, at this place, zero. At this place, zero. At the rest of the place. So you can see a pattern here. If the max is, if we are not placing, if we are checking the single nodes or we are checking the nodes where zero is not present, then answer will be always zero because max is minimum possible we have to get. So here it is six. So there is not any such pattern. One pattern that you can make or you can think of that if we start putting from the leaf, leaf node, uh, this value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then we can get max. That, but this will not uh, fully satisfy the condition. Here, ultimately, the prerequisite is uh, DFS. That is depth first search. That we have to put the node 
we have to put the uh, we have to find the breadth or you can say the size uh, of every from every node and we have to check that what can be the max here so we have to perform the complete dfs here now how we will perform dfs let's look this example suppose this is a smaller example and you will understand better from this example here now at each and every node i have to store max i have to get max and i have to return max now how i will store the max with the help of size with the help of size okay initially my max will be empty so initially my max is 0 and my size is 1 why why size is 1 because i am counting the node the size is the node number of node that i have visited till now it is 1 uh, initially now when it is dfs is called it is calling its child now here what i will return i will return max plus size comma size why i am returning those why i am returning this pair to keep a track of size i am storing size and to keep of track of max that i am getting from here 0 plus size what is the size size is 1 0 plus 1 comma 1 so i am returning 1 comma 1 from second node 1 comma 1 is returned here one is max and this one is size okay now this is called now this uh, left right child is called then again max plus size and size will be called now here what is the value of size value of size will increase by 1 why because we are visiting the second node and size will increase automatically increase every time the dfs is called okay so size will size is not 2 now the value of size is equal to 2 okay and max is your 0 So zero plus two, comma two. So what is passed from three? Three is passing two comma two. You can say three is passing two comma two. Two is passing one comma one. Okay. And this two comma two will be returned. So at one, what we have got? We have got two values. We have got two values. One we have got one comma one pair, and one we have got two comma two pair. and what is one here it is max what is one here it is max what is one here it is size and it is size now at one it will store that what is uh, size at one when i will call df then when one will be checked what is size at one two and what is max currently the maximum that is of max here that is two so two will be taken and two plus your size currently that we were doing here 2 plus 2 comma 2 okay the size has become 2 uh, here now 2 plus 2 equals to 4 here it will return 4 so ultimately we want what we want we want max and we want we have to keep a track of size that's why we are taking pair of this max plus size and comma size but ultimately what we want we want our max and from where we are we want our max we want our max from root so we will whether how many how much long is tree 1 2 3 4 5 no matter we will calculate the max plus size as i have calculated and keep a track of size at each node and finally we will uh, take the maximum of max all ma that we, that is written from these two nodes and uh, max comma size max plus size will be your answer comma size it is will store the store so max plus size will be your always your answer so this is how we can perform dfs on this question okay now let's see the implementation for this question okay so now we are going to see the explanation of this chef and subtree max question here i have taken the pair of max and size as i have uh, told you earlier then i am taking this test cases and i am passing the adding the making the tree basically and I, why i am starting this from 2 and why i am ending there because i plus 1 i at parent is parent of i plus 1 parent okay that's why i am starting it with uh, uh, 2 and ending it with n because it will be n minus 1 only ultimately okay and and then i am calling dfs from 0 and i will print the the root max of root the uh, root the because it will store the maximum max okay and here i have called the similarly the uh, we store max is equal to 0 size equal to 1 as i have told you and here i am checking for each ch children of the ith node and uh, in the same i am just storing the 
max and p max and i'm incrementing the size as i was telling you and then i'm pass returning max plus size comma size and at last i'm returning the max plus size and every node i am storing the max here so this is how you will do perform dfs in this question okay now let's run it and uh, submit and, and check it whether we, we have done the correct implementation or not basically this question was totally of dfs a little bit of uh, uh, test cases uh, little bit of effort in test cases and with some dfs approach will do the job here uh, the code is very much small there is nothing much bigger in this it's normal dfs as you can see that uh, we are getting correct answer for this implementation okay thank you